Hey everybody, I'm back again with another video. This time I'm going over how to get Minecraft to work with the Oculus Rift or the Oculus Rift S. Now, right off the bat, Oculus doesn't have a good working Minecraft as of yet. Now, at least when I tried it. So I had to do this workaround in order to make it work. So the first thing you have to do is download something called Vivecraft. Now that actually is set up to work with the uh, HTC Vive, but there's an emulation in Steam VR that you can get, and it's version 1.6.10, and that will get you to uh, basically have Steam recognize Oculus. Then you need to download the Vivecraft in order to make your Minecraft work in the Oculus 5. So it's like you have to do a modification on top of a modification in order to get this to work. So if you don't know how to find it, you just type in Vivecraft, you'll find it. You need a working copy of a Minecraft Java edition and a logon and password in order to make all this work. So the Vivecraft is a patch. Now the version I got was 1.14.4. Um, it might be different when you guys are downloading and uh, so you want to just download the latest version or the current version and it will show you older versions also. But this is the one that I used and it seemed to work relatively well. So if you click on the link, it'll take you to the download page. Now, I'm not going to download it because I've already got it installed, so there's no need. But you would be clicking that, getting it an application on your desktop, and then installing that application. So once you've launched Fivecraft, then you're going to basically select how much RAM. I put 8 gigs because I have 16 on my computer. You give it a name. I'm going to put a V2 on the end of the name so that it will uh, clarify that this is a, another install and then you enable the audio and you do that and then you click install. Now when you click install you have to make sure that Minecraft is not running because that would be bad. So I'm going to check that Minecraft is not running then I will install the application and it should be quick. So boom, it's all done. And now we should have a, another selection within Minecraft's menu to show that I've installed a whole separate instance of this application. So let's double check on the Minecraft and make sure that it's showing the uh, version two in here. So if you look at the drop down, you'll see that version two is at the top. And if you click on that, there'll be multiple versions of the game. And you'll even see that uh, the original instance that I installed it the first time and tested and also the latest version. Now I did make a mistake and uh, launched that latest version uh, so there was a uh, issue of it overwriting my original game but that was not a big deal so let's test it. Um, once you've got that application installed you would then proceed to go into Steam and launch the VR tag on Steam. So let's do that now. It will automatically launch your Oculus application. Once again, I'm just doing this as to get the Oculus version to work. Obviously, if you were doing Vive directly, it wouldn't launch the Oculus. So now that you have this standing by icon, which represents your headset and your controllers, and it's basically saying that it recognizes them. So now you can proceed to launch Minecraft. Now quick note here, when I previously had launched Minecraft, uh, this new release hadn't come out yet. So that kind of messed me up because I launched it and then I realized it wasn't in 3D. So I had to launch the Vivecraft, which is the previous version. 
So in that launcher, just make sure you've launched the correct one and then it should launch it. And the way you can tell the difference between launching regular Minecraft and that version is you'll see a split in the screen, which will tell you that uh, you are doing the 3D version of it. Now it really doesn't show well on uh, a computer screen how the 3D works. Um, I will put it in full screen just to show you uh, what you're kind of seeing, but without the 3D glasses you really don't uh, get the full effect. And here are my hands and they're represented by these sticks and since I launched it in regular Minecraft earlier I didn't want a chance like uh, messing it up so I'm just gonna start a new world and go from there and then I'll just do a little bit of the gameplay in the new world um, if you guys want to see more of actually playing in Minecraft then I can do that but like I said it's it's not really impressive when you look at it through the computer screen now it's super duper cool when you're actually in it and you actually have some good 3d glasses and a really good monitor like the uh, Rift S has it's really crisp and it doesn't look like you have a screen door effect at all you really really get a sense of presence in here and uh, you can see I'm just typing with my two hands here and uh, you're seeing a little bit of lag on the screen it's really not that laggy in real life um, here we go we're launching it and we should be inside the real min Minecraft in a moment Boom, there we go. We are now in Minecraft. It does detect that I launched the previous version. And you can see on the top right there that I have uh, the now plane still on, which is signifying that it recognizes my headset. And you can do everything you can do in normal Minecraft right here uh, between the two course cursors that you have uh, in your hands and all of the buttons do different things you can teleport which I find is a lot better you can also do the regular walking but I don't get as sick when I teleport so I, I generally use teleportation every time I can but anyway that's just a quick showing that it does work it is functional and hopefully you found this video helpful if you did please click like and if you really really liked it please subscribe I'll talk to you later I'm gonna get the tech out of here Later.